Hello and welcome back to Startup Company. I am Shin and we are up to day 337. I was actually trying to get to uh, 365 before I ran this episode, but I think this is going to be the finale of this series. Um, as you may be able to notice, I've rehired the sales rep and I have been accepting contracts. And um, I've created a new um, product called a Cuphead because that game's kind of uh, got all the buzz right now. Um, and I couldn't think of a better name. So, this is uh, fairly new. As you can see, 148,000 users. And um, it's made for the web and for mobile. And... As far as our streaming service here, um, we're up to 1.5 million users and are maintaining over 90% hype. There are um, upgrades. There we go. We're pretty far along in our upgrade progress. Uh, however, like I said, um, I can't find a find a reason just to upgrade everything all at once. Doing it um, incrementally seems to be the way to go. I have noticed that if the hype gets a little lower, it does the new users do slow down a little bit. I think overall they've slowed down some now. If we uh, look at our competitors, let's see by product type. I've been purchasing stock in... Um, in this here by the dev devs and um, we have over three million dollars in cash so we can kind of buy some more more stock here get up to three million there we go and we can buy that we're up to 3.8 that three million brings up the 5.4 percentage ownership um, sort these again. So 214,000 shares of that. They're the growing platform. That's why I decided to kind of uh, purchase that one. Cuphead Social Media. Brand new. Doesn't really have that many uh, users, but these are coming down. These are coming down. These are coming down. So, <coughs> excuse me. We are, you know, cutting in, I guess, to their usership. <coughs> Um, down on our streaming service, I guess I didn't want to click that, on our streaming service, we have 1.5 million users, so I guess we are still in third, we got 2% of the market, as you can see over here, Ustream is getting $72,000 a day, LifeShare $64,000 a day, Cuphead $4,000 a day. Um, the, our ownership in Quitch is getting almost 7,000, and the shopping platform one is 30,000. So, that's, uh, let's see, that's 90, 100, 172, 181, $181,000 a day in revenue without doing any contracts. Um, and I think that, you know, we could just kind of let the days go by and gain market share in those and continue to upgrade them and so forth. But I'm honestly kind of getting bored with this. I don't really um, see much more to do other than just wait for more users to come in you know and keep keep doing these contracts um, you know and that's just gotten repetitive to the point of not being fun anymore um, I've switched these guys around here and there so they're doing different different stuff because they run out of they run out of different things so I try to 
Try to put them on what's the what's the lowest, and and they have all the products that they need. Um, but you know that's really about all what I did just a little while ago. As you saw, everybody was kind of almost at the same percentages. Um, that's because I loaded up the game and I. Um, put everybody, sent everybody in the entire office out on vacation, and went and had some lunch. Uh, so, obviously, they all came back from that vacation at roughly the same time. There were a few people that had already been on vacation for a day or two, so that's why they came back a little bit earlier. Um, but generally speaking, everybody's at damn near the same percentage. So, well, anybody that's under 50%, I'm going to send them back out. So most of our office is going to be gone again. But, I mean, we have so much... Pretty much have so much in, uh, in, in stock, in inventory, that it doesn't even matter. Like, it doesn't even affect us. Other than, like, you know, the sales rep is on away, so we don't get any contracts like that. Um, but, we, you know, he has one. This is high urgency... And we don't have any wireframe components. We'll decline that. Um, so, you know, there's just not not a whole lot to do. I mean, I feel like we've done pretty much everything that can be done, except for, um, you know, I guess, quote unquote, dominating the market. You know, um, we haven't we haven't garnered enough users to. Um, be the number one player in these things here, but like I said, I it, it's just a waiting game, and I don't I don't necessarily think I want to wait. So, um, you know, I think I think that's gonna be it. The um, you know our hosting is is good. I mean, we, and even if it's not, I mean, we can add an instance anytime we need to. We got plenty. Um, I mean, we got over 3,000 network components. At one time, we had, we were, you know, I was down to zero for that. Um, but, you know, it, like, this is 18%. We're at 85. I just, one hit, and we're done with that, you know. Um, it's just, you know, I, like I have kind of mentioned in the last episode, I mean, I like this game. It's interesting. It's fun. Um, up to a point, and I'm at that point, I guess. The, you know, my message to the developer, you know, would be to... One, I think this game needs to be harder. Um, I, I think it's too easy. The, um, you know, I didn't really see much opportunity to fail. Um, I mean, I guess if you take a lot of contracts, then that you can't cannot then complete, and you lose money in the beginning, um, I guess you could lose, but, you know, it's, it's kind of tough to, um, kind of tough, you'd have to almost, almost try or just really not know what you're doing to, um, to really lose, so, I mean, I think it's a little too easy, um, that's number one, and number two is, I think that the, um, the end game, there's not enough to do. You know, you just at this point, I could I could refire my sales rep, not take any contracts, get all this money, and not really do anything. You know, except periodically do some upgrades. I just uh. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in the end game. The um, I think that there could be more more things implemented. I realize this is just a kind of a kind of a pre-release, but you know, I think I I don't think that there's going to be much more coming in the way of uh, new features. I think that. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, you know. I I shouldn't say that. I don't I don't know. I haven't followed threads, or I don't know what what they're adding. 
but you know, regardless, uh, this is a it's a pretty good game, and um, let me look at Steam here. Startup company I have had most recent start. Oh, unless I unless I leave the game, it won't. Oh no, there it is. Thirty hours. You know, so for for a ten dollar game, um, you know, playing for thirty hours isn't bad. Um, and I and I guess I could restart it, and you know, I, I suppose too, I could redo this office and and try to make it look really cool and um, add a bunch of you know a bunch of stuff in here you know there's still more more stuff that I can add um, I'm just uh, at this point don't know if I I see a point in doing so um, so um, you know I think this was a good game um, I would recommend it, um, with the hopes that the developer is adding some more content, some more, uh, kind of endgame things to do. Um, overall in the game, the number of clicks that are required to do things are a little bit ridiculous. I'd like to see some more stats, um... Um, on your on your finance side and you know some line graphs bar graphs where you're you know maybe broken down by product how much are my expenses on um, this life share you know I see that there's three thousand dollars in uh, in hosting expenses but What's the lifetime? How much have I spent on it in lifetime? How much has it cost me for components? You know? Um, so, you know, in here it says missing requirements. So I don't have any of these. Um, what are these? Wireframe components. And nobody was even making them. So he was just sitting there. Um, how much is idle? How much is idle workers costing me? You know, can we be notified of idle workers and, you know, potentially if they're idle for more than, you know, I don't know, an hour in game, then take, automatically take a vacation or send them on vacation. Be prompted to send them on vacation. Um, <coughs> notify them, notify me of available workers that can potentially create what he's missing. Um, you know, I, I think there's some some things to do. Perhaps, you know, the proximity of um, certain items, like uh, the, the whiteboard here, is this guy over here going to utilize that whiteboard? You know, should he get that, that bonus? I mean, a whiteboard gives the office a 5% bonus, and, you know, I'm sure that that guy's never even looked at that board. Um, so, you know, maybe the proximity, maybe you need to, maybe I need to have another whiteboard over here within five tiles of him or he doesn't get the bonus. Um, you know, the, the workers never move from their desks and, you know, it's a single developer and I guess the animations could potentially be, you know, be beyond his, uh, behind his capabilities. Um, I would have to wager that most of these graphics and stuff are kind of stock stock images stuff that you can purchase um i wouldn't expect that he would be you know a programmer and a art graphic artist um so you know maybe those animations are something that he couldn't do but um you know it's just a little um a little simplistic i think i think it could be more robust in its uh features and its uh, financial control um you know it's an ambitious project for sure uh for one person but you know now that he's sold who knows how many copies um and should have a revenue stream then um i would think that there should be um 
some some new features on the horizon that he would want to uh, kind of get out there and and give the game some more playability. So, you know, that's just uh, you know just some opinions on where where I'd like to see things kind of uh, kind of go. Um, but I think I'm going to probably leave this. Um, as it is for now, I'm not going to continue with it. Um, just not seeing, not seeing much of a reason to continue on. Um, you know, but I hope you did enjoy the series. I hope you got something from it, and um, you know, I hope you do buy the game. I think it is fun, and hopefully, you know, maybe in a few months, the there's be some patches and some releases and updates some feature additions and you know we'll come back to it and potentially do another series so um you know if that's the case i hope that i see you again and the um please leave a, a like and share this video um if you know somebody that's interested in this type of gaming um that would be appreciated um, i'm shin and I'm going to close out this series and hope to see you again in another one